Hi, I'm Kevin Ziblin. I'm a nurse practitioner with Commonwealth Health here at the Harrell Center. Um, I'm taking care of a mobile unit today. The typical injuries we're seeing are those who have been evacuated either by boat, car, or helicopter. Some of them have incurred injuries during that as well as exposure to stormwater. Um, we have some simple problems with poison ivy while they're cutting up down trees. Um, and then we have some people that the stress is just a lot of So can you tell us a little bit about the mobile unit here and sort of what you expect to see in the next few days? Um, the mobile unit here we brought down from our other center in Union Grove. And actually it's a dental unit that we've converted to, to a medical unit. Um, what I expect to see in the next couple days, because the flood waters are receding, is some um, fractures that they haven't been able to get out to be taken care of. We may have some cellulitis from storm waters. We haven't had any problems with um, animal waste overflow at this point. I think that the lagoons and that were flushed before the storm. Um, but usually it's just impact injuries as they're trying to avoid the water or they're walking through water and not knowing there's a hole there. As people start to return home while it's still, you know, overflowing banks and, and flooded in some areas. Uh, do you expect to see some conditions related to that? Oh, definitely, definitely. And, and probably the biggest thing right now is that when they were evacuated, they couldn't take anything. And so we're seeing high blood sugars because their insulin was in the refrigerator when they left. We're seeing um, snake bites are gonna be popular. All, all of that that happens when those waters recede and the animals start coming out too. Do you expect to see a lot more patients in the next few days? Oh yes, 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 yes. I think that we put it out on social media today that the clinic's there. And um, I think over the next couple days, again, as those waters recede and, and traffic can pick up, then we're gonna be very busy. So you also have satellite clinics in uh, some other cities. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Um, we have 13 satellite clinics, including some behavioral health, inpatient clinics, um, dental clinics, and then medical clinics. And they're over um, essentially maybe four counties in Southeast North Carolina. Is there anything else you kind of want people um, outside of North Carolina just to know about what's going on here? And I think we're real desperate. I think that when you have 15 minutes to get out of your house, you leave everything. And so for us as medical personnel, these patients don't have their medicines, they don't have their insurance cards, they um, are having a great deal of difficulty getting that kind of stuff, and, and we're successful today to have medicines for them. Um, I think just outside of North Carolina, you need to know that this is gonna take years of rebuilding. Years and years. Is there anything else you wanna add? Nope, I love, I love you guys, because it's helping us so much. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thank you.